Hi, in this video I will show you a demonstration of HID class serial communication for AVR microcontrollers using the VUSB library. In case you didn't know this already, VUSB is a very useful software-only implementation of USB for AVR microcontrollers. It basically allows you to add USB support for almost any AVR microcontrollers, such as the popular ATmega328 used in the Arduino. Now, on a typical Arduino, there is usually an FTDI chip, this one here, which is responsible for USB to serial communication, uh, and it is also used to flash a microcontroller program through the serial bootloader. The FTDI chip uh, is needed here mainly because the ATmega328 microcontroller itself doesn't have hardware USB support. But now with VUSB, you can actually simulate USB functions uh, in software with only two digital pins. Uh, so this way, uh, the microcontroller can handle low-speed USB tasks uh, without any FTDI or external chip. Typically, we need USB for two purposes. One is to flash a program to the microcontroller through the USB port. And the other is to perform serial communication, namely transferring data in and out between the device and the host computer. The serial communication is very useful for debugging purpose because you can print a variable or sensor values to a computer screen and diagnose your program through checking these values. For USB bootloading, there is a very nice open source project called the Used Newbie. It basically allows the ATmega328 to bootload itself into a USB ASP programmer, um, which can then accept uh, a program and writes it to the microcontroller's own flash memory. And for serial communication, I found some related projects on the VUSB website. And these projects can all uh, transfer data between the device and the host. But what I pictured is something similar to a standard serial monitor, where you can print uh, strings or numerical values to a computer screen, and you can simultaneously send a string to the device as well. Also, I want to implement this as a HID class USB device, so you can use it on any operating system without installing a driver. So here is what I have. As a quick demonstration, I pr prototyped everything um, on a breadboard, and I can probably make a printed circuit board later. Now, let me zoom in so you can see things in detail. So at the center is the uh, ATmega328 microcontroller, and uh, there is a 12 megahertz crystal, a 3.3 volt linear regulator, um, a few resistors, uh, capacitors, a push button, and also um, a USB cable. So this is a pretty standard VUSB setup. Um, and here I also added a photoresistor connected to uh, analog pin 0, so we can check it, the sensor values in a little bit. I've pre-flashed the microcontroller with the uh, use newbie bootloader, so um, if I press the button when uh, inserting the USB cable, the microcontroller will bootload into uh, an USB ASP uh, uh, programmer. So you can see from the uh, device manager here that there's now a um, USB ASP programmer. And then I can open the Arduino software and uh, upload a new program to the microcontroller. To implement the USB serial communication, I wrote an Arduino library called the HID serial. Uh, and also I uh, wrote some uh, example programs. So let's try one of them, uh, this Hello World program. So I'll go to Arduino and then select from the examples uh, in the HID serial category, uh, Hello World. And uh, as you can see, this is a pretty basic program. It, it basically prints out the string uh, Hello World once every second. Now with the device connected and in bootloading mode, I can click on the f upload button and then this will upload the program to the microcontroller. 
Also, to be able to receive the message, I wrote HID serial monitor in the processing software. It looks basically uh, similar to a standard serial monitor uh, with a text area that uh, shows the message that uh, it receives. And you can also simultaneously send a message uh, to the device. You can see that the string hello world here is being uh, printed uh, once every second. Again, you know, this probably looks kind of trivial, uh, but keep in mind that the, um, the microcontroller is actually handling all the USB requests in software uh, without using any uh, external USB to serial chip uh, or converter. So one of the nice things about the writing the software in processing is that um, it's instantly cross-platform. I can write one program and then uh, when I'm done I can just click on export application and select all three platforms and then I can create uh, standalone applications for all operating systems at once. So this is really neat. Here is another example called Echo. It's obvious from the name that what it does is uh, to echo whatever string that you type in here. Um, so basically, you know, so let's see if I connect to the device and I can type in a string like ABC, hello world, this is HID serial. And again, this might look uh, kind of trivial, um, but uh, you know, what's going on here is that the string that you type in here um, is uh, transferred from the computer to the device and then the, uh, the device copies the string to an output buffer and send it back to the host uh, through the USB port. And this is the third example which uh, prints out the uh, analog sensor values on pin uh, 0 uh, once every uh, half a second. And uh, so let's see, let's open the serial monitor and then we can connect to the device and so you can see that it's printing the A0 value uh, once every half a second and then because there's a there's a light sensor uh, connected to uh, the analog pin 0, A0, I can you know cover the um, light sensor so let me see if I can get this demonstrate more conveniently um, Move this up. So I can cover the sensor, and as you can see, that the values printed respond to um, the um, ambient light. Yeah, again, cover, remove, remove. And I can also type in, let's say, A1. Um, to uh, switch to printing the uh, uh, analog value from pin A1 or A2 and uh, so on. So overall it's pretty convenient to use and with this library I can build a very low cost Arduino with uh, USB bootloader and serial functions and without any FTDI or other uh, USB serial chips. Now the biggest drawback um, of the uh, current impl implementation is that the data transfer speed is pretty slow. Uh, this will be a problem if you try to pump out data as fast as you can, um, but I figured that for the uh, purpose of debugging and checking variable values, the speed is uh, typically, is well, you know, sometimes not critical. Um, and also the library currently works pretty well in Linux, but uh, on Windows, after running for a while, uh, it might start to lose data and I'm not sure what's, what, what, what's the cause of this problem, but I'll try to investigate further. The library can also be adapted to other AVR microcontrollers. Um, here I have adapted it to the uh, AT Tiny 45 uh, microcontroller, and uh, this is my uh, tiny breadboard build. It basically contains the MCU, uh, resistors, um, and capacitors, uh, a button, and uh, the USB cable. Um, and for this microcontroller, you don't even need an uh, external crystal. 
uh, because the chip itself has an internal clock that can run at 16.5 MHz, which is uh, sufficient to support USB. And I basically just changed a couple of uh, pin assignments in the software, and I was able to get this running, uh, get the uh, USB, uh, you know, the HID serial functions uh, working on uh, this uh, chip as well. Um, so, for example, here is a program where when I press a button, when I press this button here, it uh, detects the um, button press and release, and also it counts how many times the button has been pressed. So that's all for the demo. If you are interested, check out my blog post, which has all the details about the uh, implementation. And also, the source code is available on my GitHub page at github.com slash racehobby. And thanks for watching.